Hello and welcome to another video. I was going to say a macro video but it's not specifically about macros, it's about keystrokes and actually I've learned a fair amount myself as I've uh, prepared for it which has been good. Okay so what am I going to do? Um, we're going to look at what keystrokes are. Some people call them uh, shortcut keys. Uh, should editors use them? And what can we use keystrokes for? And obviously under that is how do we actually do so. So, okay, so what are keystrokes? Well, uh, it's when we press keys, we normally press them one at a time, um, but we can use a qualifying key as well, plus a key, um, so that it produces some action other than the normal sort of uh, printed character on the screen. So one you might be familiar with, Control S for save, so S is the key that we press and control key CTRL is the qualifying key as I've called it. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to call them but that's what I've called it. So basically you hold down the qualifying key so you hold the control key and then you press the key so that's the that's the action that you perform when you do a, a keystroke. Um, well what qualifying keys are there? Well we've got the shift key but of course if we hold the shift key down and press the key then all that does is gives us the uppercase character uh, that's shown on the keys to key top for the funny fun funny like uh, shift 7 will give you an ampersand and shift 5 will give you a percent or whatever. So uh, the main ones for a, a PC are the control key and the alt key uh, or you can use both and they can be combined with the shift key as well and then the key that you press. Uh, Mac users have uh, slightly more uh, options there. They've got the command key, the alt key and the option key. So my second point I was going to make was whether as an editor uh, do I have to use them? Well I would say yes uh, but in fact you already do uh, every day probably. You may well be familiar with these keystrokes or at least some of them Control S for save, B for bold, I for italic, U for underline, A for select all, and then copy and paste C and V. So you do actually use keystrokes. But there are good reasons for using keystrokes. I would suggest that it helps to reduce uh, RSI because you're minimizing your hand movement around and more importantly I think probably, not, not that I know about these things, uh, you know, sort of uh, physiologically but uh, I imagine that gripping the mouse you're actually holding the mouse uh, with probably sort of thumb and small finger uh, and then you're hovering other fingers above the mouse buttons uh, your hand is very definitely not at rest uh, and so you're uh, making uh, holding yourself open to RSI if you're susceptible to it. Um, I would also say that using keystrokes add speed. Some people say, oh no, it's, uh, it, it doesn't speed me up. Um, I would say that with practice, yes, it will speed you up, trust me. It's worth the effort. I mean, if you can save time over a, a long period of time, it's worth learning to use keystrokes. I also would su suggest that it helps to keep concentration on what you're doing. And What I mean is, for example, if you're editing a sentence and you have to make some change within the sentence then moving the mouse around, clicking here, clicking there, uh, trying to delete something and type something in, um, th then it, it takes your concentration away from the sentence itself, from the meaning and flow of the sentence. So using keystrokes in many ways uh, can help and obviously uh, my particular thing is that uh, running macros from keystrokes can save you a lot of time because a macro can do more things than just the ordinary keystrokes that are, if you like, provided uh, with Word as such. So, uh, so what I'm one suggestion I'd make, like to make, uh, a hint, is to uh, put your most used keystrokes on your left hand because if you think about it, uh, the Control, Alt and Shift keys are all near to your, or they're by your left hand as you're uh, resting your hands uh, um, on the on or near the keyboard. Oops, 
So um, I would suggest that, that, that the most used keys should be these ones in the left hand corner of the keyboard because you can get to them by relatively small um, finger movements leaving your hand resting on the table or resting on a, 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 a wrist rest. I have a wrist rest underneath my left hand as well as underneath my right hand for the, for the mouse. Okay, so um, there are actually two other qualifying keys available uh, on the keyboard, on most keyboards. Um, on the right hand side of the keyboard there's the there's a control key but that's there all that that does is just a it's just a straight duplicate of the control key but there's one called alt gr which i gather stands for graphics gr graphics um and again i i wasn't really aware of this uh if you press that that's the equivalent of doing um um an, a control alt a pressing control and pressing alt at the same time so you may know that uh, control alt m produces a comment bubble um, so however if i hold down the alt gr key just as i kind of demonstrate it and then press m then it opens a, a comment bubble comment bubble bubble um, the nice new these nice new modern comments uh, let's get rid of it yeah uh, okay so so pressing the alt gr was the equivalent of control and alt which is probably totally irrelevant but i put it in there anyway okay uh, so let's get to the more nitty-gritty stuff uh, what can we actually use keystrokes for well the answer is loads of stuff there's lots of different things and here is one of the, one of the areas where i learnt some more as i was um, preparing this video lots of uh, keystrokes are set by uh, microsoft themselves so if you open if you sort of load office then word comes up and it's already got keystrokes assigned um, we've mentioned you know the control s and the control c but there's uh, quite a few more um, and but those in fact can be changed by you if you want to uh, although microsoft has assigned them that's not set in stone you can change them um, and, and i do for certain reasons um, and obviously you can set up your own keystrokes for for the different uh, things that you might want to do so look, let's look at those two. Let's look at the, um, the keystrokes set by Word. How do I investigate what keystrokes are set by uh, Microsoft themselves? Well, let's have a ribbon. And the answer is you hover. Um, so if I'm in the, the Home uh, tab there, if I hover over B for Bold, for example, then uh, if you can see it, it comes up with Bold Control B. So it shows you what the keystroke is and over to the I there, hover there, up comes the control uh, I, control U for, and so uh, several of these have got control um, functions like a, a subscript there um, so in general if you want to know what uh, keystrokes are set you can hover over the function so the show visible uh, formatting marks then that's control star um, okay uh, we can set our own keystrokes and this is a very important area um, what can you use them for what can you use keystrokes for well obviously you've got the general functions um, but you can also uh, and there's a, there's a lot more besides uh, not just the ones that Microsoft uh, sets but that you can set up a load of extra ones yourself the particular functions that you use within Word I mean obviously there are so many within Word the particular ones that you use often then you can assign keystrokes to those word functions uh, we're not talking macros we're talking words own functions um, you can you can apply keystrokes to uh, special characters or symbols you can apply them to styles so if you're applying if you're, if you're constantly having to apply a particular style to a document why not put a keystroke on it that can speed you up and obviously as I've said macros are pretty important for setting keystrokes for okay how do we do it uh, well we use the custom keyboard window uh, where do we find it well um, we click on the ribbon um, okay I'll put those there ready so I click on uh, the ribbon I want to find a blank bit of white space to, to right click on uh, not the space up the top here 
um, but the, any of these lower spaces, so any of these here, so if I right click on there, I get a menu, the middle of which is customize the ribbon. So I click on that, and then the next thing I'm looking for is customize keyboard. Well, that's down the bottom here, keyboard shortcuts, customize, click on that, and I've got the uh, customize keyboard, it says there customize keyboard window. So okay that's that's how you get it there. Um, uh, my, I use it so much that obviously I have a, a custom keys, I have a macro set so that I can just click a keystroke and up it comes and it, it's already selected in the left hand column macros because that's the most uh, common thing I want to do with it. Okay so what can we do in this window? Uh, well, let's just pull all these up and then go and use the window. So, um, in the left-hand column, there are these are the different groups of functions that you might want to have a keystroke for. Um, and then in the right-hand column, once you've selected one of the columns, or one of the category, it calls them categories. Uh, select one of the categories on the left, and then the right-hand one. At the moment, it's macros. So in the right-hand one, you've got all the, diff the names of the different macros. So if I click on uh, styles, then in the right-hand column here, you've got all the different styles. So you can apply. Uh, so you can uh, apply. Well, we've got a, a, um, a, start, um, a keystroke applied to heading one there. Um, okay. So what then are the functions that you can uh, use within that window, uh, within the customized keyboard window. Um, well, we, in the, uh, the, the, so for, for any uh, given item, um, so let's, let's um, look at the different uh, categories we've got, which we haven't done yet, I suppose. Uh, file tab there, that means that that's the commands that are on the file tab, or the uh, insert tab or the home tab. The, the home tab is going to be more familiar. Look, you've got bold there. Oops, click on the right hand side. Um, if, if I click I, I've got italic and so on, justify paragraph and so on. So those are the different uh, groups or categories. Um, and so once you've once you've selected, say, the home tab, and say we've got we've got uh, bold there. Within this window, you've got four things. You've got a description, bottom left, so that says makes the selection bold, and it's a toggle, so it turns it on or off each time you press it. Current keys, so this window here shows you what the current key is that's applied to that particular command you've selected, the bolder. Uh, press new shortcut key, so if you want to apply a new keystroke, um, you know, uh, shift control Z, uh, we can um, choose that, and that one it says is unassigned, currently assigned to, that's the other function, uh, if I just ring it there, so that's currently assigned to, it's unassigned, it's not wanted. So let's try another one that we know is actually assigned, Control S, while well, that is assigned to File Save. So that's um, you know one of the things that we can uh, uh, well, it tells us what the, what's applied to Control S at the moment, so that if we were to use Control S, if we were to assign it by clicking at the, on the Assign button down there, we would lose the assignment at the moment, which is to File Save. Um, so ju just to show some of the, the different things we've got uh, as possibilities, uh, what have we got? Um, we have got oh yes down the bottom here are the, the sort of the particularly important ones. So fonts. If you are having to apply a particular font often, then click in there, click in the font that you want, uh, and then apply a keystroke to that. Building blocks. I have not a clue what that is, and I haven't got any. Uh, styles. We've um, mentioned that already. So you click in the style. Common symbols. Uh, well, that's the those are the common symbols that might be, uh, so like there's a copyright symbol there, that's actually got two different uh, keys on my system uh, applied to it and so on. So those are different ones there. Um, you can actually apply 
to any, uh, if I use the, uh, where is it, it's insert and then out here to uh, symbols, you might not be able to see that, but it's behind, behind me. <laughs> uh, so symbols, more symbols. Um, so when we've got any of these symbols, so that funny little bent pipe thin thing, uh, shortcut key here, click on that, and then we get a, 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 another account like a subset of the customized keyboard um, uh, a window and we can apply keystrokes to any symbol that we want to. Okie dokie, well I think that's about it. Yeah, I think so. I hope that's been useful and I'll sign off and say see you again soon.